I want to hear something that I've never told anyone before. Sure. My grandmother was a nurse during the Second World War. She's my inspiration. And in 1942, when she was working for the Red Cross in London, this American pilot who'd been shot down was brought in and assigned to her. Let me guess. They fell in love and lived happily ever after. Partially true. I can hear the cynic. No, yes, <laughs> they did. They, they fell in love. And even during the war, when there's all this chaos, she said that she found this pocket of bliss with him, that they would wander around London in their own little world. And for two weeks, they'd talk, got to know each other. He bought her chocolates, which were expensive and a delicacy. And then after two weeks, he recovered and was redeployed. And she said that that last night, they just lay there together in each other's arms. She said it was the best night of her life. And then he left. Did they ever see each other again? No. He gave her this small stone, and he said that he'd return to get it from her. But he never did. She didn't even know what happened to him. And although she always loved my grandfather, she said that there was something different, that it was just magical. She made me promise to look for that in my own life, because that person does exist. She said, that person is out there for you. So I told her I'd wait. She sounds like an exceptional woman. She was. Where are you going? Um, I'm tired and it's late, so I should go. Don't go. I mean, <laughs> you've said it before. You're right. It's not fair. It's not fair to you and it's also not fair to me. So we're going down that wrong road that you mentioned, or at least I am. And that hurts because you're unavailable. And I'm. I, I, I can't do this. So, so, what happens now? We just go on with our lives, we pass each other on the street and pretend we don't know each other? Stop and have a friendly conversation. You don't have to worry about that, so it's all right. We won't have any fake conversations. What are you saying? I don't understand. Um, I recently accepted a job offer out of town, so. Where out of town? London. It's in London. 
I leave in two weeks. It'll be nice to be close to my parents. I've been really excited. I didn't think I had anything holding me here any longer. Is that wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. I came here tonight looking for answers, and I found you. I want you in my life. I, I want to see you. I want to... I want us to be friends. Oh, I don't want to be friends, Adam. I don't want to be friends. It's not realistic. Why not? Because... I don't want to be your friend. This has been amazing tonight, but it's not real. <laughs> it's not real for you, and it's not real for me. And in real life, you're not happy. If you were happy, then, then maybe I, I, I would try to be your friend, but you're not. No, Nicole, I'm not happy. I got everyone I know telling me uh, that I should be satisfied with the mediocrity in my life. But I know this can't be it. There's got to be so much more. There is, Adam. I'm going home. Are you sure? Are you? I understand if you gotta leave. It was lovely to meet you. In 1954, we awakened something. And it is going to send us back to the Stone Age! What I am about to tell you sounds crazy. Listen to me. Your very lives depend on it. Can you kill it? The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. if America and Japan were to enter war. The United States is the last country in the world Japan should fight. Honjitsuke de watashi wa jibun no hei ga matsu ninchi e tomoka. Kuri no tamae tsugi o tsukushi, kono inochi o sasageyo to ketsu shiteiru.